Hi, my name is Sean Olson. This video is a demonstration of the Delete Faces modifier by Wallworm, similar to the Delete Mesh modifier inside of Max, but a little bit different and more parametric. I'm going to show you a couple use cases here. On the left, I have a cylinder, and in this case, I want the top and bottom faces deleted, but I want to keep this parametric. We have a problem in that the standard Delete Mesh modifier, which I have on here, only accepts the incoming selected faces. So in this case, I have a poly select that is selecting the top and bottom faces here. And because those are selected, and you see these polygon sub-object selection mode here, it means that those faces going up the stack are the ones that are going to be deleted. And the problem is, let's say I needed to add a bend modifier to this, and I want this object to bend. Well, currently, the face selection is nothing because of the delete mesh modifier. Moreover, if I plop this down below the bend modifier, you see we have problems. I delete that, bring this back. In order to do this, I would have to add another poly select at the top of the stack, get rid of the face selection, and now add my bend modifier. The problem here is, if I hit edge mode, I realize that I don't have enough resolution on this mesh because I want it to follow the contour of the bend gizmo. So then I would have to go back to the cylinder and notice I'm going to get a warning because the poly select is topology dependent. As soon as I go down here and change the height segments, you'll notice that the faces that are selected are incorrect and the deleted faces are wrong. Now I have to go back to my poly select modifier and change the face selection. This can be very tedious, especially if you're going up and down the modifier stack. The delete faces modifier in Wallworm circumvents this. If I go to this object, I already have a delete faces modifier, and it allows me to delete the faces by several things, including the selected faces, which would be like the delete mesh. But I can also delete by material ID smoothing groups, face IDs, etc. In this case, I have it set to delete the material IDs 1 and 2 because on a cylinder, the top and bottom have an ID of 1 and 2. I can go down the modifier stack and change the height segments without any problem. I don't lose, I don't lose the, the faces that are going to get deleted. In fact, if I go back up here and if I add a bend modifier to this one, and if I need even more resolution, again, I can go back down the stack, change the resolution, and still it remembers which faces are deleted. Now we're going to go to another practical example here. In this case, we have two splines, I'll isolate the selection here, that are set to be renderable. Again, we have the problem that if I want to change the topology of this spline, for example, I may need it to bend down a little bit. So if I go down my stack again we get this topology dependency warning and if I want to change the vertex so that it flows down like this if I decide this needs more resolution well now I have a problem so if I go back to if I change the interpolation of this to add the resolution that I need now I go back up the stack to my poly select, then my delete. Notice the faces that are deleted are incorrect. Now it's over here because the face numbering changed. And again, I'd have to go in and add more modifiers to do that. However, with the delete faces, I'm telling it to delete by the smoothing groups. And the ends on the spline by default have a smoothing group of two. So this means that I can go down the stack. So in this case, we pull this down so we can see the change in the interpolation. So when I add more, go back to notice, if I turn on show end results, the ends are still being deleted and it doesn't require me to go and add any extra modifiers. In fact, I can go in here, refine this line, add some extra vertices, move these around in whatever way I might need. 
And again, I don't have to add any extra modifiers. And this is useful because a lot of times if you're using an editor, if you're using a renderable spline, the ends uh, oftentimes need to be deleted or useless uh, if you're sending it to a game as wires. Again, my name is Sean Olson. This is a demonstration of Delete Faces modifier, which you can get at wallworm.com. Thank you, and have a good day. <laughs>